Hey, we, we are going to tie another Ultralicious Steelhead tube. This one's going to be a purple with an orange collar. Um, I'm going to tie it on this Pro Sport Fisher Classic tube. I've got a piece here that I've cut off of a 4040 tube. I'm going to use that as my hook guide. I shorten it up just a little bit if I can find my razor blade. So my uh, my swing hook is going to slide right into that. Uh, now if I w if I want to tie this and use a uh, a loop knot, I just pull my loop knot straight into that, and the diameter is perfect to hold the loop knot. Just couldn't have planned it better. So. Here we go. This is a fly that, um, it's a tube fly. I broke my thread. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> you might wonder, how many, since I'm tying a purple fly and I have a blue tube, why on earth am I using hot orange thread. Well, the reason is that I'm going to finish this fly with an orange hackle. So, um, first thing I'm going to do, Lagerton flat braid. This is flow blue. Not the only color you can use. How about some Senyo's Muppet? Um, Fusion dub, that would make an awesome body. Muppet would be awesome. Uh, and there's another, oh, Grape would be awesome too. But I've got this handy. And I know this works. No, we can order for you though. There we go. So now I'm going to throw some eyes on there. I've used some double pupil lead eyes. This time I'm going to use the ball's eyes. It's very personal choice. They all work good. Now the important thing about this is that sometimes with Pro Sport Fisher I will use a, a drop weight or a bullet weight or something of that nature. I like, uh, I like to have my weight forward on the fly. So uh, I've chosen to put, now some people when they used, um, when they use, when they tie a tube fly with dumbbell eyes, they put the dumbbell eyes on last. I've done that and I may still do it, but right now I'm kind of enthused with kind of burying the eyes. This is a wire-free uh, synthetic fox brush. New product this year. I really like it. I'm mostly using it for a little bump here, but it also adds some <laughs> fuzz to this fly. Now this fly is overall is going to be, is going to, now I'm turning this over because the fly is going to ride with the eyes down. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use purple. Now if I used straight purple, see that's a black barred purple. That's what that would look like. I'm using, it's a Spirit River, where is it? UV2. It's a uh, purple with black tip. Um, it's really nice stuff. And here's what it looks like. It's going to extend to the back of my tube, nice and long, but it will not get uh, will not get fouled on me because I've got that nice long body back there. So let's get that rabbit strip centered over those eyes very nicely. A little twist there gets the job done. Let's uh, throw in a little bit, what color? Ooh, let's use some. 
ice wing, lava lace. This is a peacock, or no, 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 it's bait fish. So it's not quite blue, it's not quite silvery, it's a little, I call this kind of a gunmetal blue. Uh, do a little bit of trimming here, roughly. There, got some nice flash. So uh, I'm gonna put on somewhere. I may have to pause for a moment. <laughs> okay, we're back at it. I got down here to the shop and I forgot my purple rain uh, <coughs> chromatic brush. So I'm going to throw a black on here and I'm just going to use a couple of turns. So this, this fly is tied with the purple brush and the purple rabbit strip. I'm gonna tie this one with the midnight black uh, brush. So it's not, this fly overall isn't going to be quite as purpley as my sample but it is going to be quite nice. Purple and black is a kind of like blue and black. It's like, what's to not like about it? Yeah. Couple turns. Now, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to get this, see those eyes have kind of disappeared in there. Got our flash. Now I need to, uh, I've got uh, orange, this is dyed over white. Um, this might be a flow orange. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a hot orange. If I had my um, light here, I could tell you for sure. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm going to take a minute to do something. Last time I finished off a fly like this, I wound up singeing my hackle. So I'm going to make sure I don't do that. I'm going to try to anticipate how long. So I don't normally do this, but I'm just going to give this a try. Now, so, so there are enough wild feathers or fur sticking up there I could wind up singeing things a little bit so I'm going to try to just touch okay I just have that you can see that I just have that rolled a little bit so that my uh, my thread won't slip off the front. Now, now I can finish it off with my tackle. So sometimes we just do things a little bit differently. I'm trying to feel where my eyes are. Here they are. Got them right underneath. And my tackle feather is right here. I'm going to try to tie this on securely so it doesn't pull out. And now this is a little bit dicey because I only have so much space to secure to wind this tackle on. Because I've already, I'm committed. I've got my... Uh, Got my tube 
shortened and rolled. So I'm either going to get it right or I'm not. And I want to get it right. You know, anything in that, like, you know, depending on where you're going. Looking good so far. Okay, now I cannot go even the tiniest bit further forward. So that's got to be it. So this is uh, definitely calling it close. But I've got the end of that tube folded over already. So as long as I can get this knot tied, and not make a mistake here, I'm good to go. Now, because it, this is so dicey, I'm going to slip my scissors in there, slide the thread up. I got it. I got lucky. Okay, ultralicious steelhead tube. This is, instead of being purple, purple, it's purple, black. Uh, uh oh, there's a wild hackle there. Let's get that. Pretty close. Every time I try to fix it by trimming, I wound up mixing it up. There you go. This fly will penetrate the surface just quickly enough. It won't hang up. Uh, you can put a swing hook way at the back here. The wing will not foul. This is a great color combination. Give some a try. Go have fun.